In the book of John chapter 15 verse 2 to 3, John chapter 15 verse 2 to 3, the Bible says, Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, it taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, it pocketeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean to the word which I have spoken unto you. I pray for you today. Every plant which my Father has not planted in your life shall be rooted up now in Jesus' name. May the Lord cleanse every sin, every spirit, every pollution from your life in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Father, make me clean within and without in the name of Jesus. Father, make me clean within and without in the name of Jesus. Father, make me clean within and without. Make me clean within and without. Make me clean within and without. Make my life thoroughly clean within and without in Jesus' name. Today's topic is vacuum cleaner dream mini. Vacuum cleaner dream mini. When you subscribe to my channel, kindly subscribe today. Did you see yourself vacuuming the floor? Or you dream of vacuum cleaner? Or you saw someone vacuuming the floor, vacuuming the carpet in the dream? Every time you have this revelation, you keep wondering the interpretation and symbolism. A vacuum cleaner removes death in our homes. In the Bible term, vacuum cleaner could also be a sign of cleansing and purification. To dream of vacuuming could be a sign telling you that it's time to do a cleanup of yourself or environment. Unlike sweeping, vacuum cleaner ensures that our home floor are clean. When you come across a vacuum cleaner in your dream, it might be a time for you to get rid of negativities in your life with prayers. To dream of vacuuming a carpet, it suggests a change or a period of recovery in your life. It could also mean that you are finally dealing with your problems successfully. The vacuum in your dream could also mean that your life will soon experience positive things in Jesus' name. That is, the period of affliction in your life are ending into testimony. To see yourself vacuuming in the dream could also reflect your desire or need to purify your body, soul, and spirit. Or it could also indicate that need to purify your body. The Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. God wants you to clean yourself. God wants you to be clean, to make sure that your environment, your surroundings are clean. Vacuum cleaners represent your attempt to clean up every mess or mistakes from your life. For others, vacuuming in the dream also represent a process of deliverance, cleansing, certification, and sometimes could also represent a deep cleansing work of the Holy Spirit in your life. The dream of vacuuming the floor could also be telling you that it's time to let go of those bad negativities in your life in order to give way for good thought, in order to give way for a new beginning. Sometimes, to see yourself vacuuming the floor may signify that you are expecting a visitor or you are removing some barriers or negativity spirits that have polluted your life or your home. To dream of a broken vacuum cleaner represents a period of worry, pains, disappointment and frustration. It could also indicate that you are losing that motivation in your life or your inability to tidy up some areas of your life that is messing up. You don't need to allow that spirit of laziness and procrastination to get hold of you. You can achieve your purpose, stand up, and success will be yours in Jesus' name. Sometimes a broken vacuum cleaner in the dream can indicate loss and disappointment in business or personal life. You might be making some decisions that are not yielding good results in your life. To see yourself or others vacuuming the dream could be a sign of cleansing negative thoughts you have about others. A dream about vacuum might mean that you are looking for solutions to your present problems. May the Lord answer your prayers in Jesus' name. Also, vacuuming in the dream also indicates that you have a strong determination to succeed in life. If in your dream you are vacuuming incorrectly, it means difficult period in your life. If your housemate did a vacuum very well, it means a happy home. But if your housemate didn't vacuum the floor very well, it means some troubles and worries you may soon encounter. When you discover that the vacuum is not sucking death in that dream, then it signifies an unfruitful work in your life, God forbid. To so dream of fixing or repairing the vacuum is a sign that the problem in your life will soon leave or be resolved in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, all those good things that are not working well in your life will start to work very well to produce efficient results in Jesus' name. May the Lord cleanse, purify your heart, and get rid of any negativities in your life, in your home, in Jesus' name. Instruction, kindly embark on 30 days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 
embark on three days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Can you read the following Bible verses? James chapter 4, verse 8, Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 25, Psalm 51, and lastly, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Thou spirit of uncleanliness in my life, depart from me. In the name of Jesus, Thou spirit of uncleanliness in my life, depart from me. In the name of Jesus, Thou spirit of uncleanliness in my life, depart from me. Depart from me. In the name of Jesus, Thou spirit of uncleanliness in my life, depart from me in Jesus' name. So, O oh Lord, help me to get rid of negative circumstances in my life. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, help me to get rid of negative circumstances in my life. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, help me to get rid of negative circumstances in my life. In Jesus' name. Say, blood of Jesus, wash, cleanse, and purify my soul, spirit, and body. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, wash, cleanse, and purify my soul, spirit, and body. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, wash, cleanse, and purify my soul, spirit, and body. In Jesus' name. Say, I receive the grace to forgive everyone who has hurt me. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to forgive everyone who has hurt me. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to forgive everyone who has hurt me. In Jesus' name. Take this last prayer point. Say, Holy Spirit, make plans to visit me today. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, make plans to visit me today. Make plans to visit my household today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray. Every rubbish, every nonsense in your life, every problems in your life, every troubles in your life, in your home today, they shall be flushed away. The Lord will make you whole. The Lord will cleanse you and purify you. And you shall become a righteous and a new person. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.